Hey guys, this is Hope Set It back with another Hope Set It hair video for you. I believe my last one was about how to infuse moisture into your little thirsty hair. And uh, this one is about my silk press update. Um, as you can see, I got a silk press. That's the second time ever that I got one. You know, the first time I got one was right after I had my third son. So, um, uh, you know, I was dealing with postpartum shedding and just matting and freeform lock. Like, that was a chore. That was the one that took nine hours. And so, this is six months later from that. And, you know, I got a second one. It was much smoother. It still took six hours. Don't get me wrong. But it was much smoother. I'm going to detail that for you. To begin, let me just say that this is not how I walked out of the salon a couple days ago, okay? It was nice and smooth and straight, um, but I'm the one who added uh, the curls. I mean, I guess it's not that bad, but I just wanted you guys to know that, you know, if you go to that salon, they can get you bone straight. It's not like, you know, well, can they? No, they can get you bone straight. Um, I just added some curlage on my own because um, I have a big head, guys, okay? Uh, that's part of the reason why I started, I don't know, not necessarily going natural, but doing more styles with volume to kind of compensate for my big head. You know how people like nickname me like, oh, hey, big head, and you're like, oh, yeah, big head. And I'm like, oh, too many people are calling me big head. Maybe I do. I have a big head, it's fine. Um, but the big hair kind of compensates for the big head. So if it's straight, then it's like, you know, oh, just messed it up. Hold up, hold up. If it's straight, then um, my big head looks bigger. So I had to add a little uh, jujumification, okay, that's a word, look it up, uh, to my hair uh, because, I don't know, I don't want a big head. <laughs> but either way, um, the name of the salon uh, that I went to was Her Growing Hands. I went to the Frisco location. I went to the owner, Whitney. Uh, I sat in her chair. She's amazing. I had to go in her chair again because, I mean, the first time it took nine hours and she literally was strand by strand detangling. Like, if you got that and you did that for me, you got a fan for life, honey. <laughs> like, I feel like if I went to any other salon, they would have just tried to, you know, discuss different bobs we can start cutting because I'm not about to detangle my hair. You're just going to have to cut it out and yada, yada, yada. But she didn't do all that. And that's when I knew like, oh, this is a real one for real. You know, um, we talked about my postpartum shedding. Mind you, here's an update. You see that? <laughs> but I mean, it's not, listen, don't zoom in or nothing. But all this little fuzzy area that was basically completely bald. Let me see this side. Oh, it's a little more my leg. Guys, I'm doing this live. I'm sorry. I should have practiced. Okay. I just got to sweep down a little. Listen, postpartum shedding does not discriminate. So, uh, you know, once you have your baby, your edges are like, all right, I'm out. So <laughs> that's what happened to me, at least. This time is, you know, better. I'm trying to grow it, uh, you know, but I think my postpartum shedding probably stopped a couple months ago. So, it, it's coming back. I'm not worried about it. This is my third kid. I'm used to it. But back to it. Back to it. I'm sorry. You're here for the Silk Press update. So I had a morning appointment. Listen, right when I walked through those doors, I was good. There was no wait. Um, actually, it was earlier, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes before my actual scheduled time. She just took me to the shampoo bowl. Let's do it. Um, so we did it. And what I love um, just about shampoos in general, uh, at a salon at least, is that you can really get to the scalp. If I wash my hair, I can't really get to the scalp. So when I go there, I'm just like, wow, I can feel my scalp. Ooh, that peppermint, you know? <laughs> like, that's that's like a pampering in and of itself um, just to feel that scrubbing of the scalp that happens. Um, wash my hair, and it was good. It was um, maybe took 20 20 minutes or something like that to really do everything um that Portia who is hilarious she was the one that who, who shampooed my hair she was hilarious um did a great job shampooing and then she proceeded to start the detangling process okay guys last time detangling my hair took five hours I am uh pleased to announce that it only took about two this time isn't that good two like one and a half one and a half to two hours. I don't know. But either way, it took about two-ish hours, two max, two hours max to detangle. And you could say, oh, that's a long time. Listen, if I 
it wasn't five hours. That's what I'm grateful for. And really, if I'm honest about it, at home, when I'm detangling my hair, it's going to take two to three hours, depending on how lazy I'm trying to be. But it's going to take, I don't know, it's just, it's sectioning it off. They section your hair. Um, so I have my little quadrants, hello math, in my hair. And, you know, they're just going a section at a time. It just took two hours because they were literally taking their time. Like, they go from bottom to top. And once, you know, once your hair says, mm, 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 they're like, okay, okay. Well, let's back up and wait for your hair to allow me back in. And I love it. You treat my wool-like hair like silk. After I detangled, they took me uh, under the steamer. So I steamed a little drip, drip. And then... Um, after that, it was conditioner, or no, I washed out the conditioner out of my hair. So after you wash, the conditioner is still in your hair. You detangle, you uh, steam, and then um, uh, you wash it out. Now that washout is cold, okay? Don't, it's not for the faint heart. Like if you're a little tired because you sat under the steamer and then you're sitting so long for the detangle, that, that cold rinse will wake you up. <laughs> okay so um after that i sat you know in her chair and um in whitney's chair now and you know what at one time this is so funny because i was thinking this took me back to college days in college y'all if you've been following me you know i was weave queen uh to my detriment a little bit and i micro braids like when i tell you Micro braids. I don't know why, but either way, I was wearing rocking micro braids, and that took me back to my micro braid days because there'd be like you know two ladies doing your hair at once. So <laughs> Portia and Whitney were both detangling my hair at the same time, and I was just like, oh, this is just like the old shop I used to go to. They blow it out and then straighten it, and I know I'm like just talking about it because I really talked about it the first time. If you want more details, I talk about it on my uh, blog. If you're like more of a picture visual person i talked about it helpsetit.com you know it was cool though it was crazy seeing the shrinkage like i i didn't know i know i don't do much of my hair and i it should be growing uh but i mean when i tell you the shrinkage that happens like when you have conditioner in your hair you have something heavy in your hair it's like oh, okay this is how my hair looks you know usually but once you have that naked hair that's like drying up oh my i look like a wet scared balding poodle like my hair just did like shrinkage is no joke so i didn't know how much growth i had she's the one that said oh, i think it grew from last time yeah, yeah i grew from last time i was like this did it because it's this long on my ear so um but i trusted her and that was huge you know like i came into the shop the first time months of research mind you and i'll get to that later but um she really earned my trust so this time around i was just like i listen if it, even if it didn't grow i'm sure we'll be fine and you'll you'll make it right uh but um we she flat ironed it everything was good to go i left that shop uh good uh, my hair was straight and then i went home and uh, I can't even, you know, look at this, just falling. But <laughs> I went home uh, and then added maybe like five or six flexi rods. And I'll probably put that in tonight or something like that too. And maybe I'll do a video about um, the different little styles you can do for your silk press. Because this will probably last for a good um, one and a half months, two months, like six-ish weeks yeah something like that and then it'll start you know getting a little crazy you've seen it before so um i'll probably do something about the different styles you can do i didn't do this last time so i don't know what i'm really doing <laughs> yet uh but we're just gonna test it out and see this is the first one i'll probably keep it down for maybe another week or so and then after that um i'll play with other stuff but you know i don't hope something does not play with her hair like that uh most of the time it's in a bun. You already know it's going to be in a bun. Um, and you know what? A, a weird thing. Do I have it? Do I, I'm sorry. I usually keep a scrunchie. Do y'all call it a scrunchie? A hair. <laughs> I usually keep a headband, hair band um, around my wrist. But what's so crazy is usually with my hair not silk pressed, I can just, you know, you've seen a picture to where I just wrap it around once and my bun is just you know, secure like that. But now I'm like, wow, I actually have to like wrap 
and then wrap again the hair tie, you know, things I never do. But anyways, second time, no heat damage. Whitney's amazing. Uh, Porsche's awesome as well. Uh, they had a lot of patience. I appreciate them so much. Check out the whole experience at hopesetit.com. I believe the post is called Growing Your Own Bundles because you can grow your own bundles, you know? Uh, nothing against protective styles, don't get me wrong. I love my weaves now. Well, I don't wear it, but <laughs> I don't hate you if you wear it because I used to be the weave queen. Um, but you know, wigs and everything like that, do your thing. But I'm also saying don't think, oh, you have to wear wigs because your hair is trash. No, you can grow your own. Yeah. It ain't sewn in. So, so um, you know, grow your own bundles uh, and just know that it, your hair might look different, you know, like, you know, shrinkage is no joke, but it's growing. It's growing. Uh, you can do it. Listen, my hair... And if you if you see my previous vlogs, uh, I believe I did have like a hair growth journey or something post like that. Yeah, like 15 years ago-ish. Still in high school, I think. Uh, yeah, I had the like short shortcut where you had to do this in the back and couldn't even put it in the ponytail. It was a mess. And I had to because my hair cut. Not I got a haircut. The only black people wore their hair cuts <laughs> instead of you getting a haircut. Um, so it was just, you know, a setback that I had. And I had to have short, short hair. And that was cool. It was a style. Mm, but listen, I got a big head, right? Then we just talk about this. So that was a mess. And then I was just like, from that day on, I was like, I got to learn. Black people, God did not do this to us. Black people are not the only people on this God's green earth to not be able to grow their hair. It's impossible. So that's when I really started researching and uh, trying to see what's for me, what's not for me. Um, and it's hard because when you're researching, you're getting all of this information and you really have to decipher and say, okay, trial and error, but really let's see what um, really works for me and my hair and my personality because I'm not about to put monostat in my hair. I'm just not. I'm not about to um, spend hours every other day in my hair soaking it with this, pre pewing it with this, this hot oil. I'm, I'm just not, you know, um, I don't, have a problem with people who do. I'm just saying that's not my personality. If that's how you grow your hair, then I would not have grown my hair, you know? Um, I just found for me, my hair just said, leave me alone. Like I'm chilling, stop micromanaging me. So <laughs> it flourished when I just let it go. You know, I'm, make sure it's moisturized, come back and check up on it every once in a while. But really how I'm maintaining now is with trims. So that's really the only thing that got added in uh, 2019, the first time I got a professional trim. And when I tell you that cut down on detangling, that helped the uh, health of my older ends, like these these little ends at the bottom, they're like eight years old or something like that. You know, in hair life, that's old. You senior citizen, you're eight years old and it's hair strand but anyways that's just my update i think my length now is like kissing waist length maybe but that's kind of i don't know you're kind of like mad because if i only do it twice a year you know you're only gonna see this twice a year who's gonna know i'm waist length uh so in its curly state it's still gonna be yeah <laughs> and then my big bun will you know maybe take it here it's just a hot mess. Black hair is magical. As many ha people have said, our hair is so versatile. And uh, that is a blessing. It really is. Let me get to some questions, though, because um, you guys can read the whole experience. I just wanted to answer some questions that I already had on the blog about how to find a professional hair specialist, just like I did, you know, because I never had anybody in my hair for years, 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 years until June of this year, like it just happened. So um, I'll kind of go through the research I did with that. And also when I posted the blog, a lot of people had questions like DMs and comments and stuff like that. So I wanna address that as well. So the first one, when I talk about researching a hairstylist, if you're just like, you know what? I kind of got it just like I had. I, I got my hair growth routine down, but I can't cut my own hair. What am I supposed to do? Um, 
yeah, that was a challenge for me. Like, what are you supposed to do? Your first step is to just look around at portfolios. Like, mind you, I want to say that cutting your hair is not going to grow your hair. You know, like, I don't like people who are like, oh, you got to trim because that it grows faster. No, it doesn't grow faster when you get a trim. It just grows. It just retains the length properly, you know, because your ends aren't chewed up and all this other stuff. Um, uh, so I, you can grow your hair with split ends, but why would you want to have split ends? Like, if my hair was to, you know, here, but it was see-through, why would I want that? No one is clapping and checking for that. They're going to be like, oh, child, let it go, child. You see, the you know, like the balding men who got, it's like, okay, just comb this off and get ready for your baldness. Like, what? Ugh, anyways, so the first thing I, um asked myself when I was looking for someone to cut my hair was what does their portfolio look like you know um uh in this 2019 that we are in there is no reason that you should not be stalking people on Instagram and then stalking those clients to see how their hair is holding up you know I searched and hashtag like you know insert city put your city hashtag city silk press hashtag city mm, hair growth Hashtag city, you know, natural hair, whatever you think um, you would come up with search results in your area. But really look for those top specialists if there are some in your area. I don't know where you live. Not necessarily saying, oh, style it and blah, blah, blah. We're just talking about a simple trim. Okay, that's all we want. Um, I would also ask how much training does that person have with kinky hair? And I'm not talking about... Uh, thick curly hair because this is a this is something that I get a lot you know you'll go somewhere to the store wherever and they're like oh in my natural state not in this and you know regular big puff state um oh you have a lot of hair you're like my granddaughter and I'm like that's odd because you're of the different persuasion than me so continue and they're just like oh her hair is so curly like like Annie I'm like you you think my you think this is like Annie? No, no, honey. Annie, you can put your fingers through this thing right here, child. But anyways, um, just make sure they are well versed in kinky hair. You know, like actual natural kinky. Hair. Like really look at their page and make sure that you you have seen your hair cousin on that page. You have seen your hair twin, and yes, she did it for her. She can do it for me or he. I'm not gonna discriminate. He or she can do it for you too if they did it for that other hair type. And this is like a no-brainer slash trick question. Ask them how they deal with natural hair. I mean, if it's anything, if the answer is anything but gentle, bye. Like what, you know? Like I, I know a lot of, or I heard a lot of, let me not act like I know people. I heard a lot of situations where they go to uh, salons and the people are like, oh, I specialize in natural hair and I do this and that. But really, they're trying to relax your sides. They're trying to put this newfound complex in it so that it loosens the curls. And I'm like, why Why are you doing all that? If you're not at work with natural hair, why are you trying to get some extra aid to loosen the curl? That always makes me cringe. I don't care if it's keratin treatment or um, loosener's and texturizer stuff, you know? I can take your hair from 4B to a 4A. First of all, love your curl pattern, period. Love your curl pattern. It might get on your nerves sometimes. You think you think I didn't feel betrayed when my shrinkage just showed up like that? I was like, wow, coward, you know? You just gonna shrivel up on me? Um, but, you know, it's a love-hate relationship. Learn to love it. How do you handle natural hair? It better be gently and it better uh, be, you know, hey, we take our time, we do this. Anything that makes it seem like they're trying to alter your hair, I would run and hide from that. Okay, the next question, do you trim natural hair curly or straight? Um, I know there's a lot of, you know, curly cuts and the diva cut or something, I forget, um, that you do and that's cute, it does look cute, um, but what happens when you straighten your hair? You know, like, think, just think, you see my shrinkage, if I really brought my shrinkage to a stylist and said, cut it, do you understand that my hair would be looking like this when straightened? Like, okay, uh, you know, 
<laughs> just it just wouldn't be eaten. like I'm sure the ends would look like a dog just gnawed it you know like it's just in a curly state so how would that even be straight like you have to straighten it know what the damage is cut it off and that would be that I just listen I'm not a professional I'm just letting you know what my common sense is telling me so that's another thing I was very determined about I was like no um my hair curly can hide some damage. I want it straightened so that it's all out in the open. We can clean it up and then it can get curly again and we'll be healthy. Mm -mm. This last one is crucial. Get close, get close. This last question you have to ask, okay? We are about to get into the year 2020. There is zero way that we are still getting in chairs being scared to speak up, okay? I used to be like that. I get in the chair and I'm like, my hair is just falling. That's fine. That's fine. No, I didn't want to cut off five inches. That's fine. You know, and act like it's okay. Oh no. Towards the end, when I took control of my hair journey, I was getting out of shampoo bowls if I thought, you know, <laughs> the person wasn't for me. You know, when I was still getting text laxed, I just run to the sink and be like, listen, I'll start the wash process if you're trying to leave it longer than I want to, you know? Be that person. Who cares if they don't like you? You're the one paying them, right? I mean, no, don't, let me backtrack. Don't be a jerk, okay? I'm just saying, make sure your voice is heard. It is your hair. That's like someone just saying, hey, we're about to dye your hair blonde. Well, I'm going to sit there and take it? No, speak up. So the same thing for your trim. Like, I used to just sit there and be like, dude, we really just trimming off three inches for no reason, just because you feel happy and you're on the phone and you're not paying attention, you know? Um, but have a conversation. Let them know, okay, hold on. How how do you trim hair? Um, do you do it based on a shape? Do you have like a set uh, uh, measurement every time? And if they do have a set amount every time, that's a problem. Like people who are like, I usually take two inches off every trim. How? Based on what? <laughs> like you're just trimming two inches for no reason. I'm gonna need you to trim it based on the damage you see or do not see. Okay. So um just know that it's time to ask questions. And if you ever feel uncomfortable, get out of the chair. Pay the person, like just say, hey, you know, uh here's seventy dollars, I gotta go. You know, who cares? I I just cannot stand people who just sit there and then wait to cry at home because I used to be, um, I'm not saying because, yo, you're so weak. I'm just saying I used to be that too. And then I just turned into like, listen, I don't care. See you in three months, sucker. I'm kidding. No, <laughs> just don't go back to that person is what I'm saying. You know, who cares? Some other questions I received after uh, posting the latest blog post was, um, let's see, someone asked, how do they get? an appointment at the salon. Uh, mind you, it's the holiday season, so it could be a little busy, but it's just online, hergrowinghands.com, uh, and you know, book the salon that you need. It is based in Texas, so if you're not in Texas, uh, I mean, you can fly in. I'm just saying they don't have locations other than the Texas area. Um, what else? Uh, someone asked how long it lasts, and I think I answer that already for me it's about six to eight weeks um and it's not going to look like this for six to eight weeks it will look like this for maybe eh, it'll look like this for a good while actually last time when my hair messed up is because we went to a water uh park or something like that and then like some sprinkles got right here and then i was like oh crap <laughs> it's frizzing up what else question did i receive uh what else do you do to your hair? And I, I promise you, I promise you, I, I get this all the time. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Guys, if you follow me, I, there's no secret. I have hair videos. Go to helpsetter.com, click on the hair video section. If you're on YouTube, go to my list. I have a whole hair playlist, okay? This is not secret. I'm not trying to keep this a secret. I'm trying to help everybody out to know that listen if i did it you can do it too uh, nothing special there's no special genes in me uh africans you have no excuse i'm 100 percent nigerian what's that <laughs> um so you know you can do it too i just don't um you know how you ask somebody like oh cute outfit where'd you get it from and they're like oh, i don't remember i'm like you you don't you just took the tags off of it you don't 
Mm. And you can just tell, like, oh, she just didn't want me to buy her outfit, I guess. You know, whatever. That's not what I'm about. You know, I'm just like, hey, girl, I got it at Ross, and you better go now because you can get it 30% off, you know? I mean, just help each other. Who cares? Who cares? We can both win. So I feel like I have other questions I received. And mind you, if you have questions, I'll still answer them. Go to Help Set It um, anywhere on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Comment on there, I'll answer it. My YouTube video uh, page, ask a question, I'll answer it. People know I answer kind of quickly too. Or you can email me, hopesetit at gmail.com. I also respond there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that everything is well, you know? After a baby, I, I was like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. This might be the biggest setback in my life. But I found Whitney in June. We're all good. Well, I found her before then. I, I finally sat in her seat in June. We got it together, uh, and then I came back in December, and, uh, you know, we're all good. <laughs> so now I just have to grow. What is my hair goal? That's another question I received. Um, I don't know. At this point, uh, I'm just going to let it grow and see what happens. Like, you know, if we're, like, right here, well, obviously my hair got straight, straight. But, you know, um... Just let it grow. I don't know. You know, I don't straighten it often in its curly state. You all know the length anyway. So I'm just going to let it grow and just make sure I'm focused on health. Make sure it's healthy hair. Make sure that, um, you know, it's healthy hair. And I got to focus on my ends more. Make sure they're not like splitting faster than my rate of growth. Okay. It sounds like physics, but it's really not. Just grow more hair than you cut off. And be patient because hair uh, grows about like an average of half an inch a month. So that's only like six inches a year anyways. Um, and yours could be slower. Yours could be faster. It's just a whole thing. Um, but I don't want to ramble, guys. I say that every video. I do not want to ramble. But I have been this whole time. And I'll, uh, I, you know, I, I did talk to Whitney and um, we're, I'm going to set up an interview with her because I think you guys would benefit so much from just talking to her as well and getting, you know, uh, answers from a professional. Like, I know what I'm talking about, but she's a professional, okay? So I think that's cool. She's a really cool person anyways. And that's just a chance for you guys to be able to get some more questions answered. So we'll work on that in 2020. Um, so that's that. And um, I think that is all. I just wanted to let you guys know what the update is. All is well. Thank you for asking. Um, if you ever have questions, don't hesitate to hit me up. Um, I'm not keeping anything a secret. I can tell you my biggest setback. Listen, I'm, I'm an open book with this journey. I don't care. <laughs> like, it was not perfect. There's a whole bunch of stuff that happened along the way, but just in the last about eight years, that's when I was like, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. And then this year, when I found Whitney, I was like, oh, we cool. We coasting. <laughs> We're coasting. So now I'm in kind of maintenance mode, hair maintenance mode, and just seeing where we grow. Go to hopesetit.com. Uh, I also have past hair blog posts and such. If you need to refreshen up, catch up with me. Um, no, I post on Tuesdays and I do a video on Fridays about marriage, motherhood, hair, life. So, you know, if you don't like the topic this week, whatever, wait till next week. It's okay. You don't have to like all of them. <laughs> and also follow me, Hope Said It, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I will be there. Bye, guys.